chapters 26 through 29 of the book of deuteronomy from the holy bible in modern english this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by mark penfold the holy bible in modern english translated by ferrar fenton the book of deuteronomy chapters 26 through 29 chapter 26 when you come into the country which your ever-living god has given you to divide and possess and live in you shall take the first fruit of all the produce of the ground that comes from the land which your ever-living god gives you and put it in a basket and carry to the place where the ever-living your god chooses to fix his name and go to the priest who may be in those days and say to him i have to-day brought to the presence of the ever-living your god some of what the land which the ever-living promised to our fathers to give to us has produced then the priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it before the altar of your ever-living god you shall then kneel and say in the presence of your ever-living god my ancestor was a wandering eremite and he went down to the mitzrayim as a foreigner with a few persons but he became there a great strong and numerous nation then the mitzrayites wronged us and oppressed us and imposed a cruel slavery upon us but we cried to the ever-living god of our fathers and the ever-living heard our voice and looked upon our affliction and our sorrow and our oppression and the ever-living brought us out from among the mitzrayim with a strong hand and a directing arm and with great signs and wonders and revelations and conducted us to this place and gave us this country a land flowing with milk and honey so now see i have brought some produce of the ground which the ever-living has given to me and have placed it before your ever-living god then you shall bow down before your ever-living god and enjoy yourself with all the good things that your ever-living god has given you and your family yourself and the levite and the stranger who is amongst you then afterwards fully tithe the whole that is tithable of your produce in the third year you shall tithe yearly and give to the levite to the foreigner to the fatherless and to the widow and they shall be fed in your villages and be satisfied you shall also declare before your ever-living god i have eaten the consecrated part with my family and i have also given of it to the levite and to the foreigner and the fatherless and the widow according to all your commands which you have commanded me i have not passed over from your commands and i have not evaded i have not used any part in self-indulgence i have not consumed any part in depravity i have not given any part to the dead i have listened to the voice of the ever-living god i have done all that he has commanded me look down from your holy dwelling from heaven and bless your people of israel and the land that you have given to us as you promised to our fathers the land flowing with milk and honey this very day your ever-living god commands you to practice these institutions and these decrees and to preserve and do them with all your heart and with all your soul the ever-living has told you to-day he will be your god and that you must walk in his paths and preserve his institutions and his commands and his decrees and to listen to his voice the ever-living has also told you to-day to be his separated people as he commanded you and to preserve all his orders and to fix yourself high over all the heathen so as to make yourself glorious and famous and beautiful and that you should become a people sacred for your ever-living god as he commanded you chapter twenty seven then moses and all the judges of israel commanded the people saying preserve all the commands which i have ordered you to-day and at the time you pass over the jordan to the country that your ever-living god will give to you set up great stones and spread them over with plaster and engrave upon them the whole of the commands of these laws when you pass over and arrive in the country which the ever-living your god has given you a land flowing with milk and honey as the ever-living god promised to your fathers and when you have passed over the jordan you shall set up those stones as i command you to-day upon the hill of eyeball and plaster them with plaster you shall also build an altar there to your ever-living god an altar of stones you shall not use iron upon them 
you shall build the altar to your ever-living god of whole stones and shall offer upon it a burnt offering to the ever-living your god you shall also sacrifice thank offerings and feast there and enjoy yourselves before the ever-living then write upon the stones the whole of the words of this law engraved deeply moses and the levitical priests also proclaimed to all israel saying today be silent and listen israel you are to become the people of the ever-living your god therefore listen to the voice of your ever-living god and put in practice the commands and institutions that i command you today and moses further commanded the people at that time saying these shall stand upon mount gerizim to bless the people simeon and levi and judah and issachar and joseph and benjamin and these shall stand upon mount eyeball for the cursing reuben gad and asher and zebulun and dan and naphtali and the levites shall speak with a loud voice and say to every man of israel cursed be the man who makes a statue or a casting hateful to the lord the product of the hands of a mechanic and sets it up in secret then all the people shall answer and say he shall be cursed be whoever insults his father or his mother then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever removes his neighbor's landmark then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever misdirects a blind man in his road then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever refuses justice to the foreigner orphan or widow then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever commits adultery with his father's wives who raises the covering of his father then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever copulates with any beast then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever fornicates with his sister the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever fornicates with his mother-in-law then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever strikes his neighbor in secret then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever takes a bribe to kill an innocent person then all the people shall say he shall be cursed be whoever does not stand by the commands of this law to practice them then all the people shall say he shall be chapter twenty eight but if you attentively listen to the voice of your ever-living god and take care to practice all the commandments that i command you today then the ever-living your god will give you superiority over every nation on earth and all these blessings shall come to you and surround you because you listen to the voice of your ever-living god you shall be blessed in the city and blessed in the field blessed in the fruit of your body and blessed in the fruit of your farm and blessed in the fruit of your cow and blessed in the cast of your cattle and breeds of your sheep blessed in your basket and blessed in your cask blessed in your going and blessed in your coming jehovah will make your opponents to stumble before you they shall advance by one path and fly from you by seven the ever-living will command blessing to your barns and to every work of your hand and will bless you in the country that your ever-living god has given you jehovah will establish you as a people sacred to himself as he promised if you keep the commands of your ever-living god and walk in his paths then every people of the earth will see that the name of the ever-living has been fixed upon you and they will fear you when the ever-living causes you to abound in benefits in the fruit of your body and the fruit of your cattle and the fruit of your fields in the land which the ever-living promised to your fathers to give you the ever-living will open his best treasures from the skies for you to give rain to adorn your land and to bless every work of your hand many nations shall borrow of you but you shall not borrow for the lord will make you the head and not the tail and you shall continually rise higher and not be depressed whilst you attend to the commands of your ever-living god which i command you today to preserve and practice 
therefore turn not from any of the things that i have commanded you today yesterday and before that but walk after your ever-living god and serve him but if you will not listen to the voice of your ever-living god to continue to practice the whole of his commands and institutions as i instruct you today then these curses will come upon and surround you you shall be cursed in the city and cursed in the field cursed in your basket and cursed in your cask cursed in the fruit of your body and fruit of your farms the cast of your cattle and breeds of your sheep you shall be cursed in your going and cursed in your coming the ever-living will send you cursing blundering and blame in every attempt of your hand till you waste and rapidly perish before the evils assailing you and become desolate these things shall pursue until you cease from the land that you go to possess the lord will strike you with consumption and fever and wasting and burning and with sword and blight and jaundice and pursue until you perish and the skies over your head shall be brass and the ground beneath you iron the lord will rain powder on your land and dust from the skies shall fall upon you until you are a desert the lord will give you to defeat before your enemies they shall meet you on a single road but you shall fly before them by seven roads and be in terror of every government on earth and your carcasses shall be food to all the birds of the sky and to the beasts of the earth and none will drive them off and the ever-living will inflict the ulcer of the mitzraim upon you and tumors and scurvy and the incurable itch and the ever-living will afflict you with madness and blindness and bewilderment of heart and you shall grope for a window as a blind man gropes in the darkness and shall not find your way and you shall also be wronged and robbed daily and find no defender you shall wed a wife and another man lie with her you shall build a house but not dwell in it you shall plant a vineyard and not eat of it they shall kill your ox in your sight but will not allow you to eat of it they will steal your ass before your face and never return it your sheep will be given to your enemies and no one will help you your sons and your daughters will be sold to foreign nations your eyes shall see it and long for them every day and possess them not a people whom you have not known shall consume the produce of your farms and all your acquisitions and you shall be plundered and oppressed at every time and be maddened by the sights your eyes shall see the ever-living will inflict you with a bad ulcer on your knees and on your legs which you cannot cure from the sole of your foot to your crown the ever-living will make you and the kings you have raised over yourselves go to a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known and there you shall serve vile gods of wood and stone and become a word of reproach and abuse among all the peoples where the ever-living drives you you shall take much seed out to the field and reap little for the locust shall destroy you shall plant a vineyard but not drink its wine nor collect its grapes for the worm shall consume them olive groves shall be in all your fields but you shall not refresh yourselves with oil for the olives shall drop off you shall beget sons and daughters but they shall not be yours but shall go to slavery the caterpillar shall seize all your trees and the fruits of your fields the foreigner who is amongst you shall climb up above you from station to station but you shall sink lower and lower he shall lend to you he shall be the head and you shall be the tail and all these curses shall come upon you and pursue and hunt you to destruction because you have not listened to the voice of your ever-living god to preserve his commands and the institutions which he ordained for you and which should have been a guide and instruction to you and to your posterity for ever but as you served not your ever-living god with delight and gladness of heart in your abundance of all things in heat and raging thirst and nakedness and want and an iron yoke shall be put upon your neck until you perish the ever-living will arouse against you a nation from afar flying like an eagle from the end of the earth a nation whose language you have not heard a furious nation who will not respect the presence of the old nor pity the young and it shall devour the produce of your cattle and the produce of your fields until you are ruined 
until you shall possess neither corn nor wine nor a calf from your cow nor lamb from your sheep until you are brought to ruin and you shall be oppressed in all your villages and your walls towers and fortifications in which you trusted shall be thrown down in the whole country and you shall be harassed in every village of the land which your ever-living god gave to you and you shall eat the fruit of your body the flesh of your sons and your daughters whom your ever-living god had given you in the siege and distress with which your enemies shall distress you the friend who was very dear and delightful to you shall turn his eyes evil to his brother and to the wives of his bosom and to the remainder of his children who are left to give one from amongst them as food for his children so that the rest may eat from the corpse with him in the siege and distress with which your enemies distress you in all your cities the delicate lady who allowed not the sole of her foot to touch the earth from delicacy and refinement shall look with evil eyes upon the husband of her bosom and her sons and her daughters and the newborn child that comes on her lap and her children whom she has borne that she may eat them in the absolute famine in secret in the siege and distress with which your enemies shall distress you in your gates if you do not take care to practice the whole of the things of this law written in this book and to reverence the glory of this magnificent revelation of your ever-living god for the ever-living will make your own punishments and the punishments of your posterity astounding by these great inflictions and diseases and sicknesses and prostrations and will turn upon you all the maladies of the mitzorites which you feared when present with them and they shall stick to you besides numerous diseases and many plagues that are not written in the record of this law the ever-living will bring them upon you until you are desolate and are a small remnant instead of being like the stars of the heavens for number because you have not listened to the voice of your ever-living god and as the ever-living was before delighting over you to benefit you and to increase you then the ever-living will delight to destroy to desolate and to bear you away from the ground which you have come to possess and the ever-living will scatter you amongst all the peoples from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth and there you shall serve vile gods which neither you nor your fathers knew of wood and stone and amid those heathens you shall have no quiet or comfort to the soles of your feet but the ever-living will give you there a trembling heart and languishing eyes and a wretched spirit and your life shall be in suspense to you in the present and you shall tremble night and day and have no certainty for your existence in the morning you shall say i wish it were evening and in the evening you shall exclaim i wish it were morning because of the fear of your heart that terrifies you and from foreseeing what your eyes perceive the ever-living will also cause you to return to the mitzrayim by that mournful way which i have told you never to retrace or to look upon and you will there offer to sell yourselves to your enemies as men and women slaves and none will buy you the following are records of the covenant that the ever-living commanded moses to make with the children of israel in the country of moab in addition to the covenant that was recorded with them in horeb chapter twenty nine moses accordingly assembled all israel and said to them you saw all that the ever-living did in your sight in the land of mitzrayim to pharaoh and to all his officers and to all his country their great defeats which your eyes saw the wonders and the great manifestations upon them but the ever-living did not give you a heart to understand and eyes to see and ears to hear until to-day although you wandered forty years in the desert you were not deficient in clothing upon yourselves and your shoes were not stripped from your feet you did not eat bread or drink wine or beer so that you might learn that i am your ever-living god then you came to this place and met sihon king of heshbon and og king of bashan and you advanced to fight and slew them and took their country and give it to be divided by the reubenites and gadites and the half tribe of manasseh therefore remember the contents of this covenant and practice them so that you may reflect upon all you are bound to do 
you are today all of you stationed before the ever-living your god your nobles your governors your judges and your officials every man of israel your children your wives and the foreigners who are amongst you the hewers of wood and drawers of water for you to assent to the covenant of your ever-living god and to swear to what the ever-living your god has agreed with you today so that you may rise up from today to be a people for him and he may be a god to you as he promised you and as he swore to your fathers to abraham to isaac and to jacob since it is not i alone who made this covenant and this confirmation with you that is established here with us today before the ever-living our god and which is confirmed to us here today for you know that we resided in the land of the mitzrayim and that you were slaves amongst the heathen whom you served and you saw their corruptions and their idols of wood and stone of silver and gold that they have take special care to yourselves man or woman or family or tribe who has a heart from turning to-day from our ever-living god to go and serve the gods of those heathen lest there should be a root bearing poison and anguish amongst you but should any one listening to the words of this oath say to himself in his heart i shall prosper although i walk in the ideas of my heart for my cup is full when i am thirsty the ever-living will not be ready to forgive him but the lord's anger and indignation will smoke at that person and he will heap upon him all that is written in this record and the ever-living will wipe his name from under the skies and the lord will set him apart for evil in every tribe of israel for all the curses of the covenant written in the record of this law and the future generations of your sons who may arise after you and the strangers who come from distant countries and see the afflictions of the country and the curses with which the ever-living has cursed it shall exclaim brimstone and salt burn all the country it is not sown does not grow and produces no vegetation like ruined sodom and gomorrah adma and seboim whom the ever-living destroyed in his anger and in his wrath and all the nations shall ask why has the ever-living afflicted this land why should his great indignation burn so when they will be answered because they rejected the covenant of the ever-living the god of their fathers which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of the mitzrayim and they went and served other gods and worshipped them gods whom they knew not and who could not benefit them therefore the anger of the lord burnt against the country and he caused all the affliction written in this record to come upon it the ever-living will also pluck you up from the ground with violence and with great wrath and fling you into other countries the secret reasons are with our ever-living god but the revelations are with us and our children forever that we may practice the whole of the decrees of this law the end of chapters twenty six through twenty nine of the book of deuteronomy recording by mark penfold